Ludwig Wittgenstein project is an international effort to make Wittgenstein's writings available uh, online. Our purpose is to publish Wittgenstein originals as well as translations that have previously appeared in book form on a website where they are accessible for free, both as web pages, as downloadable PDFs, as ebooks, and so forth. Our goal is to make Wittgenstein's works more readily available to the general public. There are very valuable resources available online which make Wittgenstein's raw materials, his manuscripts and typescripts available in the form of transcriptions that contain uh, many details about the process uh, that led to their creation. These materials uh, generated by the WAB, the Wittgenstein Archives in Bergen, Norway, are very valuable for researchers, but they are difficult to approach for the general public, for anyone who does not have a previous uh, knowledge of Wittgenstein's thought, of the history of his works, of the way they came to be, and they are not approachable for those who might, you know, step in a bookshop asking for a copy of the Philosophical Investigations or of the Tractatus. The purpose of the Ludwig Wittgenstein project, our own website, is to make Wittgenstein's writings that have already appeared as books and therefore edited texts available to anyone. Uh, we think especially about students, about uh, philosophy enthusiasts who do not have a previous knowledge of Wittgenstein, but potentially anyone who may, uh, through us, get to know Wittgenstein and later on want to make uh, this acquaintance into a real friendship. April 2021 marked the 70th anniversary of Wittgenstein's death. Therefore, on the 1st of January 2022, his writings entered the public domain in uh, many countries in the world. Copyright is designed in such a way that uh, everything anybody creates, in terms of texts, pictures, photographs, music, visual art, or anything else, any creative work whatsoever, is by default protected uh, by copyright for the duration of the author's life, plus a period of time that may vary depending on jurisdictions and uh, also depending on several parameters within a given jurisdiction, but in many countries, uh, in most countries, in fact, Everything uh, creative becomes public domain 70 years after the death of the author. In the case of Wittgenstein, who died in 1951, again, uh, 2021 marked the uh, 70th anniversary of his death. On the 1st of January of the next year, 2022, his writings entered the public domain. Whereas, Everything copyrighted cannot be reproduced, distributed, remixed without the uh, consent of the copyright holders, the author, their heirs, perhaps the publishers, and so on, um, which uh, consent is usually granted uh, for a fee. Um, everything that is in the public domain can freely be uh, distributed, uh, copied, shared, uh, remixed, by anyone without having to ask for permission and without having to pay to do so. Therefore, for example, it is possible to take a piece of writing that has entered the public domain on which copyright has expired and make a new translation of it. And whereas for the duration of uh, the copyright term this would require previous approval and uh, paying a fee, to the copyright holders, everybody is free to do anything they want with public domain works uh, precisely when they enter the public domain. The public domain is an important part of copyright laws and this is because it makes it possible for 
everyone to be able to access culture more freely without having to pay to do so and it makes it possible for works not only to circulate more widely but to become the basis for new derivative works in the case of literary works and of course philosophical works as a subset of literary works it becomes possible to for example create new translations it is quite common for authors uh, whose works uh, enter the public domain to see a sort of renaissance uh, of their own uh, popularity, of the um, availability of their works um, in bookshops, libraries, etc. And this is precisely because when the circulation of works uh, is not subject to the rules of buying and selling anymore, uh, thanks to the internet as well, that makes it much easier to share uh, creative works uh, for free, then it uh, becomes much more, uh, much easier for everyone to access those works. Ludwig Wittgenstein is widely considered one of the most important philosophers of the 20th century. His only published philosophical book is also perhaps his most famous work, that is the Tractatus Logico Philosophicus, a philosophy book in which Wittgenstein attempts to separate very uh, sharply what can be said meaningfully, that is the domain of science, and what cannot be said at all, uh, that is what traditionally falls uh, under the concept of metaphysics, but also everything, every proposition that deals with value, both in the ethical and in the aesthetical uh, sense. And uh, the interesting twist there is that for Wittgenstein, that which cannot be said is actually what is most important uh, from the point of view of human life. Therefore, his famous claim that whereof one cannot speak, thereof one must remain silent, can be interpreted as the recommendation to protect the most important issue of human life by not vilifying them with a blabber of metaphysics. Wittgenstein is also known for his later production, which however was only published posthumously, in which he abandons this abstract concept of language uh, and rather moves towards the theory of language games, meaning language is now conceived as a game, a practical activity in which words are intertwined with actions and reactions and the meaning is given to words by their use. Wittgenstein has become synonymous with thought-provoking conversation and is a necessary point of reference for all contemporary philosophy. The Ludwig Wittgenstein project is inspired by the vision and mission of free culture online projects such as the Wikimedia project, Project Gutenberg, the Internet Archive and our goal is that of making culture and knowledge more readily available to all on the web. Our project is not very different from other similar endeavors, making the works of philosophers available online. Uh, philosophers such as Kant, Nietzsche, Husserl have their own repositories online where original language texts are available. The Ludwig Wittgenstein project, however, differs uh, from those projects in that it also aims at publishing and sometimes producing translations that are released under free licenses such as Creative Commons Attribution or Creative Commons Attribution Share alike, so that the translations themselves can also be shared, just like the public domain originals. Of course, if a new translation is made of a public domain text, the translation, unlike the original text, is by default copyrighted because the creative effort of the translator must be protected. The translator does have the monopoly over the choices as to how distribute their work. That means that translators uh, agree 
to uh, release their original translations under a free license. Sometimes they do so on a voluntary basis, they translate Wittgenstein for the pleasure of doing so and for the love of free culture. In other cases, we received funding from institutions such as the Wikimedia Italia Association or from the University of Milan, precisely to create new translations that are later published on our website under a Creative Commons attribution or attribution share like license. Our reason for doing so is that we believe that uh, classics should obey a slightly different logic than new books, regardless of whether they are fiction or non-fiction. When a publisher first publishes a new fiction or non-fiction book, they obviously take a risk, they invest some money, and ideally, in the best case scenario, they uh, get that money back and the author also receives a royalty and therefore earns an amount that is proportional to the success of their book. In the case of the translations of classics, where the risk is very limited on the part of the publisher, the author of the translation only gets paid once and the publisher benefits from the translation for uh, several decades, hopefully, that is, until the translator dies, and very often for many more decades after the translator's death. The translator only gets paid once a given amount of money, and the publisher earns many times that amount of money over several decades. We believe it would be fair for the public to only pay for the translation once, either through a public institution or through a non-for-profit uh, organization as the Ludwig Wittgenstein project is, and then ideally uh, benefit from the translation forever without anyone having to pay a tax on it uh, anymore. We hope, of course, that our model will prove successful and that it may become an interesting case story to be studied by those who want to replicate our model. <laughs>